it's a decent format. I mean, it's it's college jerseys, but the colors, you know, they you can't tell which college they're. You know, so we don't have it by college teams; it's by NFL teams. Ho! So let's start up this thing. Let's see what happens. And yeah, if there's a player I don't know which NFL team he's on, I'll just be googling that. It's really easy enough to find out. Lucky number seven on your mark, get set, go. Frank G. All right. Well, you were in the lead. You got the lead now. Yellow jersey. Look at this. Running away with the lead. You got this thing wrapped up, man. Congratulations. Four spots in the box that we're about to rip open are yours. To the victor go the spoils. My, oh, my. Would you look at that? So, Frank G., congratulations. Thanks for getting in the race, you guys, and giving it a go. Each list will go through the randomizer seven times. We'll stack the list up side by side. We'll see who gets which NFL team here in this box break. Hope. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck in Leaf Ultimate. Come on, big CJ Stroud. Here we go. Lucky number seven. This year just had a ton of great rookies in it. Caleb Williams, I think, might be in this, too. That would be great if we could get a Caleb Williams. Not sure the exact checklist for this. I really don't know. There's just a horde of possibilities in this box break. So here's our first list finished through the random. Let's bring the teams through here. And let's go. Let's pull a monster big hit. Seven times. Lucky number seven. And there we go. And now I'm just going to slide it into alphabetical order here. Let's get ready to pull five autographs in Ultimate Draft. First hit out of the box break is a 
Okay, it's a parallel. It's numbered to, it looks like 25. It's a blue parallel. Got a sticker sealing it still. Let's get it unsealed, unboxed. Who is this player? I don't have a single clue. It is numbered down to 50. So we'll be looking up his information to see what current NFL team he's on. If he's not on one, it'll go to random. That is a George Karloftis, I think is how you would say that. Number to 50 parallel. Next up in the break, autograph number two. Jeremy Ruckert. Okay, George Karloftis. I got something on him right here. It looks like he's on the Chiefs, Carl Loftus. Yeah, he's on the Chiefs, man. So our first autograph. Wow, he got a sack tonight against uh, Baltimore. That's really cool. The Carl Loftus, number to 50. Coming out of here for Troy C. Or, excuse me, excuse me, the, the Chiefs. And it's Frank, yeah. With the sack uh, on the Ravens quarterback, the Karloftis sack on Jackson Knight. So Ruckert, looks like he's an Ohio State guy. Let's see what we can see on Ruckert and who he's going to go to. He's a tight end for the Jets. Okay, New York football Jets tight end. Frank, you've got another one here. Third rounder, 101st overall from the 22 draft, New York football Jets. Okay. He had a catch uh, in week 18 most recently. Okay, so there you go. Congratulations. It's hit number two. Doing good, Frank. Two out of five autos. Not bad. <laughs> and we, we've only shown two. We've only had two. Ultimate weapon looks like uh, who is this player? Ionovan Knight, number to fifty. Ionovan Knight. Or, okay. Oh, I think this is a running back for the Jets. I think it's another Jets hit. Let me see. Zonovan Knight. Current team is Oh, 
Okay, he's currently on the Lions. And that's what we're going with. Is the current team. He did. I was right, though. He got drafted by the Jets. But this is current team. Since it is an unidentified player. Lions. Zonovan Knight. So yeah, that's a that's a cool one. You never know, he could end up being really good at some point. Forty two of fifty. The next hit coming out of here is at CJ Stroud. Let's see a big hit. Who is this? It looks like a quarterback. Carson Strong, number to 75. Okay. A Carson Strong. Who's he with now? Carson Strong. Undrafted career history. He finished with the Michigan Panthers, finished as a Cardinal in the year. And that was the last team he played for. But our rule is that if he's retired or isn't playing as long as tenure, he played for the Eagles and Cardinals in the year 2022. We're going to go to football reference and look at the games played and tally those up real fast. That's our rule for that is, is that it, if it's unidentifiable and he is not currently in the NFL like most cases would be a retired player or something like that and there's no identifiable uni for us then it goes to longest tenure and usually it's a length of years but in this case it's just games Carson Strong See his career records here. Gosh, I don't think he played a single snap. Did he, did he play a snap? I don't see anything for his records. Okay, the the Eagles waived him. Well, that's kind of tricky to figure out longest tenure for him. So I'll come back to that. We'll see. Right now it's between the Eagles and Cardinals, and that's between Frank and Craig for the Carson Strong. We'll see. It's going to be one of you guys. Frank or Craig? Carson Strong. Good luck, everybody. Our next hit out of the box break. Oh, look at this. The Seahawks, Kenneth Walker. That's one of the best rookies from the class. A running back, Kenneth Walker. Nice. That's a great hit, Craig. Kenneth Walker. Running back. That is number to 50. Nice hit. That's a really nice looking rookie autograph. So I'm trying to decide if we should random between the two owners because he didn't play any snaps. What do you think is the fair thing to do? You think that's fair? Should we just do the random because he doesn't have any game time? 
I'm trying to see when the transactions took place. Maybe he was with one for a longer period of time than the other. I think I'm just going to random it between two owners. He didn't get any snaps. So. It's hard to say what his longest tenure was. Here we go. Seven times through. Good luck. Seven times through. Here we go. Lucky number seven. Craig, this one comes out for you. Congrats, man. The Carson Strong. Number to 50. And that's our box break in this thing. We've got a bunch of different things that could come up and rip. That was uh, pretty interesting and fun. I was hoping we'd get a C.J. Stroud. But we did get a Kenneth Walker. That kind of saved the break, I think, um, from, from being a not-so-good break to a decent break. We, uh, Kenneth Walker is really good. He's one of the top guys out of that whole class. So that's cool. That was a nice Seahawks rookie. Uh, we'll have another one of these listed. I'll probably shift up the format and put it into last name letter. So I think that's going to be a little easier to break that way. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for getting in.